Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tiers selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video. He says, how do we trust in our magic? How do we trust in our magic? Well, first of all, Chris, I know you. And for example, when you're channeling, there's a certain energy that's coming through you when you're channeling. And I can feel it on this end of the screen. And you can feel it, I'm sure, coming through your body. That's the magic. That's just spirit. It's through the demonstration of spirit that you can learn to trust the magic mm. what we want is more demonstration and observation of the demonstration in our lives i'm of the mind that 70 to 90 percent of all spirit messages spirit offerings and invitations are missed by us because we are not paying attention and we are not observing them were we to actually be observant look around to see what the signs are what the messages are what the information is we would see in demonstration that spirit is always present not outside of us only but also within us that we're like a big antenna just walking around the planet and we're picking up on all these frequencies and all this love and we're able to carry such high vibration it's noticing those times when you're doing that, that allows you to trust and believe in your magic. Mm. I don't think we notice enough when things go our way. I don't think we recall enough how many times spirit bailed us out of something in the past so that we can trust that spirit's going to bail us out in the future. I was just talking in the PDC last night to me. Um, and what spirit was saying to her, I want to say to everybody, hasn't spirit always bailed you out hasn't spirit mm. always demonstrated to you that spirit is there that you are supported i mean even me last year i had a hard year things weren't necessarily going my way but when they needed to go my way otherwise everything would fall apart spirit was always there did i notice that absolutely and that's how i can trust in that but if i'm too spiraled out because i'm in a depression or i'm not looking around or i'm not believing that it's even possible i'm not going to notice it and so therefore how can i trust it but truly truly the magic exists within you mm. it's about discovering for yourself the methods and technologies and understandings and truth that get you to see yourself with the accurate lens so that you see the divinity of who you are because too many of us look at ourselves with scarcity, with unworthiness. We base our worth on what other people have said to us or told us who we are, the things that we have and do not have. We look in our bank account, we call ourselves failures. We look at our divorce and we call ourselves failures. And so this is how we, we identify with this weird out picturing as opposed to doing those things, technologies, knowledge, study, fellowship, that will align us to who we truly are. We were just talking about who Chris really is he's the real og he's the i am he's the mm. over soul and he was created in perfection Ooh. by the creator who created us all that's mm. who you are and did you feel that mm -hmm. did you feel that i feel that as i say that and if you feel that that's your spirit telling you that it's true that was a demonstration of magic that was a demonstration of magic. And you can trust that. And often we have to turn off the white noise, don't we, Trisha? Mm. There's too oh, many yeah. things coming in, man. The stimuli is too much. You've got your TV on. We're listening to the radio or the podcast. We're reading the newspaper. Please don't do that. We're watching CNN or Fox. Please don't do any of that. We are paying attention to all of these distractions, and we are not spending the requisite time going inward that's where we're going to find god within us so just in the demonstrations that i've seen come through you with my own eyes i can say to you that you can trust in your own magic i call you a big heart with hands and feet walking around the planet you're just a high vibe live wire you don't <laughs> have to do anything my friend all you have to do is just exist and smile you are so lovely that's your magic how can you not trust that? Anything you want to say about that, Tricia? 
I loved the message of taking action on it. That is full integration. And here's what Spirit showed me that it is when you get into the the deep of that the depth of that connection of who you really are that that is peace is how it starts. But then as that peace begins to enhance and expand, it becomes it just becomes that's it. It becomes action. It, it is it becomes being. And there's no there's no way that can be inf- interfered upon. So there's no. Trust isn't even a part of it. Trust is not Mm -hmm. a part of the equation. It just becomes, there's no option. There's nothing, there's, you know, there's no way way around it. But um, I did pull a card and it is the dusky pink dragon from Andromeda prepares all your chakras to embody higher love, which is very much, I didn't read this before. I just added to it. (laughs) Accept and radiate higher love. Touch uh, touch offers, uh, touch others with its flame. So, um, and I think that's pretty amazing. I think that's really in alignment with Crystal's channeling for you, Chris. I also Beautiful. want to add, um, Neville Goddard says, and so do all of the sages, that being and believing are one. Mm-hmm. You are what you believe yourself to be. And so if you're finding that there's dissonance within yourself that you can't trust, in your divinity that you can't trust in your power or your possibilities, then there's something that needs to be brought into alignment within the belief system about yourself. Hallelujah. When you can observe that there's a dissonance, that's always just an invitation. When you get uncomfortable about something, when you're feeling a little scared about something, that's just a, that's just spirit knocking on the proverbial door and saying, have a look at this. Why are you in fear? Or why are you in dissonance? Why are you uncomfortable? There's, this is a space that we can enter into together and bring the light and that brings you back into alignment and so I would say if you find yourself falling out of trust with your own magic then look at the belief systems and here again we're talking about the things that were spoken into you we don't realize that the things that people say to us especially in our formative years as children as teenagers those things are like magic spells this is Don Miguel Ruiz the four agreements Mm -hmm. don't take anything personally people speak their truth into you and at some point you integrate that and it changes who you are so you're going to really have to look and see where some of those beliefs might be out of alignment with what I just told you was true about who it is that you are and that you felt in your body. And I felt it. We all felt it. That's the truth. Anything that's not in alignment with that needs to be brought into the light so that it is. Can I get an amen? What? Amen. Can I get an amen? Huh? Amen. Right. Join Trisha Carr and I for the 2019 Intuitive Intensive starting the week of March 18th, 2019. This 12-week program is designed to activate and blast open your psychic abilities so that you can intuitively read yourself and others. Spaces are limited, so check it out at the link below and register today.